Declarations columnist Peggy Noonan stays with me now. So Peggy, the president says it's not my fault, it's the fault of these other people, this faction of the Republican Party. Right. Does he have They're a point? extremists, don't forget. Go ahead. But does he have a point? Or is the president supposed to play a larger role here? Forgive me, I'm going to be rude. He has a talking point. <laughs> I think part of him thinks this is true, and part of him thinks I'd really like it to be true. If I were the president, I would be thinking, you know, I got two more years, essentially, of leadership. I'm going to leave a Democratic Party in a certain state. Actually, they ought to be showing the liveliness of the Republican Party. They should be having fights and debates and arguing about what's the right way to go, what's the wrong, not just strategy, but principle and policy. The party, his party, ought to be having uh, these arguments. I guess they'll delay them. Maybe they'll break out in 2017. Do they have to have them? I mean, they essentially just won here. You know what? The Republicans are trying to figure out what they stand for. Their issues are existential. What do we mean as a party? What do we stand for? Do you see the Democrats doing that? If you don't see the Democrats doing that, then what are they just doing? Being a, a conglomeration of constituencies that, that are tied together over one thing, and that is money. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That's not a lasting political thing. You want to be a, a political party in evolution, not a political party in weary, moribund stasis. We, are there any presidents in history that you would point to that encourage that kind of debate on the left? Uh, not so, uh, 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 debate is not the word I'd use, but I, I'll tell you, I'm feeling, uh, a certain protectiveness towards someone I never felt protective <laughs> before. We're all celebrating Jack Kennedy. It's wonderful. We remember those days. He was such a compelling figure. But lately, when I see what, to my mind, is the general legislative lack of competence and grasp in the Obama White House, I think more and more back to Lyndon Baines Johnson, the president, the Democrats, never brag about who yet legislatively had gifts and acumen and in fact bullied through JFK's uh, legislative desires after he left. 30 seconds left. Do you think that President Obama is leaving the Democratic Party in a stronger position for next year's election, for the short term? Forget about the long-term debates. Look, very short term, he's just had a win. He's going to be feeling cocky. I think occasionally he makes mistakes <laughs> when he is feeling cocky. So, so the Republicans are feeling rueful. The Democrats are feeling relieved and pretty, you know, they're strutting their stuff. I'm not sure what that uh, becomes in time. But I guess it, at the very least, things will be calmer for the next few weeks. Okay. Well, I think we'll all welcome that. Declarations yeah. columnist Peggy Noonan. Thanks Thank so you. much. For